Chapter 6, Promotion of Local and Oral History under other related topics. Learning outcomes. At the end of this chapter, you must be able to explain the meaning and importance of local and oral history, museums, historical shrines, and indigenous rights and rituals in the development of Filipino identity. Elaborate on a role played by the local and oral history, museums, historical shrines, and indigenous rights and rituals in appreciating the past of the Filipino nation and people. Demonstrate interest in studying, researching on, and writing local and oral history. Demonstrate an appreciation of the important role in the museum and historical shrines play in preservation and conservation of heritage and initiate ways in stealing pride of the indigenous rights and rituals among you. Third Cell Work The study of local history provides the foundation and substance more than the studying the history of towns, province, or region, and the Philippines of people who live there. The study of local history provides us vision and analysis of those broad processes that are important in shaping the quality of life of the people. Local history thus enriches our understanding of our national history. The study, therefore, local history would lead as to a better understanding of our country and people and as stressed by bon can a person who loves this town province or region and seek to know more about the culture and the reason which closely night with the historical development of the town province region this the service the country generally find it easier to love a larger and therefore more unfamiliar body polit politics as a country. The historical development of that town, province, or region is the service the country generally find it easier to love a larger and therefore more unfamiliar body politics such country. A local and oral history. 1. Understanding the meaning, the importance of local and oral history. 1.1. The meaning of local and oral history. 1997 refers to local history as that category of historical writing which emphasizes a specific or limited aspect of national life, geographic or otherwise. It deals with the history of village, various town cities, province, region, as well personal and contribution to their politi political, economic, social, and cultural development. Or start the word pointed our lo local history of focus on the description of past culture of certain place based on writing documents with specific. Chronology simply defined local history is the collective experience of a group of people while oral history is a methodology where first of recommendations of historical event of the eyewitness are counted through the intervention of historian and pointed out by Third, divert the, histor the historiographic of groups that do not know how to read and write with center of tradition of language which are shown in epics, legend, genealogies, and the stories of the town. Oral history, on the other hand, is a kind of history which exists not written literature but the oral traditions, narratives, and personal experience which are passed on orally from generation to generation like work, kuwintong bayan, epic, poems, belief, custom, and traditions. According to Tan, oral history is vital in the integration of Philippine society and definitely 
one of bring up diverse communities together. Oral history is important in study of the local history because of bring enormous potential unto the research. Susamia 1991 state that through it importance bringers of the population can be incorporated in history which would be condemned to silence in any other situation for the simple reason that they did not have written documents to see oral history people like minorities and women are given a voice oral history provide historians another re-examining the past making history more meaningful and greater number of people one point to the importance of local of oral history to national development how to important is local oral history to national development relating the meaning local or oral history to the present Tan word the local and the story are basic to otome instead otome implies an exercise of freedom with limited control or influence from the national government it means more room for local initiatives to develop and for local potential to progress more importantly it encourages creative and innovative responses to development from people with special talent and potential to may allow the locally and its people to plan life and employee programs and projects to achieve these goals. Consequently, and localities are expected to automatically shape their future, future and identities and evolve their own tradition. It is on this stage of rich searching and rediscovering local potential and resource for progress that the police also discover the riches of the heritage that has been literally taken granted and even hidden for a long time. Local and oral history is fundamental to national interest. Why? Our is country of diverse culture but despite this we can be unite by sim simply not allowing one group of people especially those in the imperial manila to discate on our influence to international international interest than pointed out should represent the numerous locates sectors and ethics group from Batanis to Tawitawi regards of grid organs, race, age, and gender. We can only better understand our national history and know the history of all Lakiti. We can appreciate more struggles of our great men if we know the roots and the place where they originate from and uh, we know the men from our localities so contribute in making up our national history. The study in local and oral history helps assist assessing the capability of the place of a group of people in discovering the propagation local tradition and culture and in enriching in the deepening ones appreciation of this origin and become proud of these words. How to start writing local oral history? Venturing on writing local history is neither easy nor difficult. What's important is one who way I doing it's the prison of genuine interest in what I'm breaking on but even if has passion and genuine interest it is also necessary that he equip with a knowledge on how to about it the first thing the most is know that would like to research right about me start 
a question about particular event, person, in situation, ritual, custom, and tradition of people in particular place, etc. A research out will be a very helpful instrument in making research and writing particular local and oral history easy and enjoyable undertaking. One who venturing research right on local and oral history must also equip himself with preliminary or little knowledge of the researching on writing about. Those initial reading injury of the topic he will work on must be done by the researcher. Second thing consider the methodology to be used library and archival work of research based on documents which include not only writing what's been photographs, taped interviews, video documentation, artwork which stored in the library and archive or an institution like a church, government office, military camps, private collection are abundant. Third, what and who will be resource or data which provide the answer what you are researching will be writing about a review of literary related to the one is working on lead in research to other source of data. The search may be writing or non writing, non writing source army be in a form of artifact or those object belongings the materials, cultures, such as orders, photos, houses, buildings, monuments, cabs, rituals, and other material things which could give details on what is. Number one, definition and historical development of museums. Museum as defined the status of the International Council of Museums is a non-profit permanent institution in the service of society and its development, open to the public which acquires, conserves, searches, communicates, and exhibits the tangible and intangible heritage of humanity and its environment for the purposes of education, study, and enjoyment. Museum refers to building which objects of historical, scientific, artistic, or cultural interest are stored and exhibited. It is an institution devoted to the procurement, care, study, and display of valuable objects. It is a building where a large number of interesting and valuable objects such as work of art or historical items are kept, studied, and displayed to the public. Museum is a Latin word derived from Greek word museum, which means the place of the muses, or the study 170, which in Roman times were restricted to place for philosophical discussion and the place contemplation, which all the fields of human knowledge were attempted to be put together into one place with its library, its most famous future complemented with a collection of artifacts. It claimed decent from Museum in Alexandra, established in the 3rd century BC by Ptolemy I. Sutter, one of the generals of Alexander the Great, as a prototype university with its college scholars and its library having the greatest collection of manuscript numbering 4,000 schools at the time. The library became the center of Hellenistic culture and it's considered the most famous museum antiki Mori 904. Number two, the importance of museums. Interest in the museum should not be stimulated among our people, particularly the youth. Museums are its dispositors of culture, since the learning should not be confined inside the classroom. Teachers Therefore, should not integrate the museum objects which classroom teaching as an and disciplinary approach to education. Museum visits will teach students to love our country 
know our story and appreciate our identity as a people. Science museums offer a closer look at a real sense of nature and technology. Natural history museums offer a window into the natural world. Art museums provide gambling glimpses at our cultural understanding through artwork in different periods and foster creative inspiration. Technology museums teach us will all the gadgets we use come from how things work and push people to think about engineering. History museums teach us to learn from our mistakes, to have glimpses of the old life, to learn about the past, and to know the cultural heritage. Museum helps people understand the world by using objects and insights to interpret and the past and present and explore the future. It preserves the researches, collection, and makes object and information accessible in actual and virtual environments. Number three, the National Museums of the Philippines. The National Museums of the Philippines is repository and custodian of artistry of creative people and specimens of historical wealth of the land. Established in Manila on October 29, 1901, by the Virtue Act Number 284, passed by the Philippine Commission and the National Museum of the Philippines, was first called the Insular Museum of Anthology, Natural History, and Commerce. It was placed under the Department of Public Instruction. It had a turbulent history having been transferred and merged with other officers, abolished, recreated, and reorganized. Finally, in 1998, it was established as an independent institution by virtue of Republic Act No. 8492, entitled an Act Established a National Museum providing for its permanent home and for other purposes, RE8492 did not only establish the National Museum of the Philippines as an independent institution but provided it with a permanent and exclusive site known as the National Museum Complex. At last, it says to be a nomad and with number identity of its own. The National Museum Complex occupies the former Old Congress, the Finance Building, and the Department of Tourism Buildings. The Old Congress Building houses of the National Art Gallery, the Finance Building, the Museum of the Filipino People, and to the Tourism Building, the Museum of Natural History. C. Historical Shrines Historical shrines are small areas or monuments dedicated to someone or place known as the site of historical event. As a place structure stem for the importance or centrally as a story of the art, a place of structure design and a monument to someone or something Uh, occasion where important event their life person or national happen. Selected historical shrine in the Philippines. The Rizal Monument, a uh, memorial to Dr. Jose Rizal, the country's national hero located Luneta Park, Manila, and considered the leading historical shrine in the country. State visitors and dignitaries pay their course tea by offering wealth and silent prayers to the shrine were remains to the national hero irritated. The history behind the Rizal Monument, behind every word of our history, and the Rizal Monument has its own story on September 28, 1901. 
the Philippine Communication Act was passed authorizing the construction of the Rizal Monument, located in the act of the location of the land in the Luneta, to build a memorial near the area where Rizal built when he was killed by the Spaniard. On December 30, 1996, the monument to be constructed was to have the status of Rizal and to serve as the hero's resting place. Fort Santiago, a visit to the Philippines will not be complete without going to Santiago in Intramuros, Manila. It is one of the most important historical sites in Metro Manila, located within the once upon a time Walid City or Intramuros as a design fortress. It was named after Spain, patron Saint James Santiago in Spanish. Fort Santiago is located at the Mount of the Pasig River with a perimeter of 1053 and it's nearly triangular in form. This bayous seed fort was originality signed by Axistic Gomez Perez the Marinas. While the design of the renovated fort was done of Aesthetic Fernando Valdez Itama. It was constructed in 1590, completed in 1593, <coughs> and underwent renovation in 1733. The Ginaldo said the strength of the country independent day commemoration every June 12 vote in 1845 this ancestral mansion of Emilio Aguinaldo underwent innovation in 1849 and 1919 an American era Filipino colonial bahay ng bato is as a floor area of 1,354 square meter and was formerly made of wood and that it was in the house where Aguinaldo was born on March 22, 1869. It is a very historic house. It was form its front window where the Philippine independent from Spain was born played on June 12, 1898 and the Philippine flag designed by Aguinaldo was formally employed on the ground of this house the San Francisco de Malabon and in the Philippine National Anthem Gregor become a Philippine currency historical chain after the Second World War and is now one of the most important tourist destinations in the country. It is a top project in which in the past was a simple fishing village with a lighthouse and signal station for all ships entering and leaving Manila Bay. <coughs> the high the lighthouse on topside vault in 1853 is one of the oldest landmarks in Corrigor. This lighthouse was damaged during the state of Corrigor. It was constructed in the 1950 century with a different design. The Bang Lagi Gag Encounter Monument, located in Eastern Summer and designed by the late national artist of Absurd, Napoleon Abueva, was built in 
2003 as um, Minon Hero Team of the Local Freedom Fighter in Summer to commemorate this event, the Public Act 6692, declaring <coughs> September 28th of the of every year and Balangiga Encounter Day as an a special non-working holiday in the province of Eastern Summer I was approved on February 10, 1989. The Bonifacio Monument, Caloacan City, is a imposing sign a visit to is told be a most of for very Filipino signed by Guillermo Valentino. The monument was in carried on November 30, 1933 by no less than former first lady Aurora Kisol. <coughs> this monument which is considered as one of the most beautiful works of art in the country was 23 figures depleted in tables narrative of the Filipino even the Philippines revolution among the figure are host of Emilio Jackson too, and the three I trade phrase Mariano Gomez, Dos Burgos and Takinto Samora Dambana ng Kat Tagitinga also known as the Man Tam Tamat National Scene located in the Tamat Summit of Mount Tamat in Pilar Bataan is a towering white cross where erected in the chain of valor. The following with the memories of this great warrior whose blood sucked every rock of on this land so that this nation might indeed endure this home chain. It's considered our mission to remember. <coughs> in Barangay Bool, Tagbilaran City in the province of Bool is the blood compaction between Dato Katuna and Miguel Lopez de La Gaspi. It was buried in 1565, done by Napoleon Abrepa. The monument is a commemoration of the start of, of the relationship, part of, part of the relationship native of the Apilagos with the Spaniard, ice catching and emotional evoking in the Lake Landing Monument in Palo Alto, done by art priest Anastasio Caido. In the monument are seven global website bronze status of this famous historical personality, General Douglas MacArthur, President Xavier Osmina. Lieutenant General Richard Southernland, Brigade General Carlos P. Romulo, Major General, Major General Country, Sergeant Francisco Salveron, and CBS Radio Correspondent William G. Dunn. The monument was erected on October 20. 1981. 34 years after MacArthur and company landed in Niti to liberate the Philippines from the Japanese force, which was a full field mean of MacArthur's field. I shall return in the indigenous custom and network. <coughs> the term indigenous was described from the Latin word Egilia. With main native is was form made by combining the old Latin term Hindu with main in or within, and his most often used to describe the native is a of the place. 
the English the, the English dictionary defined is a national exciting in a place or country rather than a living from another place. 181 this term was first used in 1644. That's what <coughs> Some religious rituals in the Philippines. In the Philippines, there are most or least 175 nucleostic group. Each of them has its own form of religious ritual, characterized as animistic collectivity, referred to as but a theme. Sign this of it. it Ethnologistic group with different language, they also use different terms to describe their religious beliefs, rituals, and practice. <coughs>